Nokia E7. This is the, what we're pitching is the ultimate business smartphone. And this is for a number of reasons. The form factor is obviously tailored towards business people. So I've got my four and a half inch clear black AMOLED screen. Sorry, four inch clear black AMOLED screen. But underneath it, I've got a full QWERTY keyboard. I think the real beauty in this device is where I close it down. And if I were to compare it to an N8, we've actually kept the size very similar. So the width of the phone and the smartphones are actually very similar, but with a bigger screen and a full QWERTY keyboard underneath, it makes it a really slick looking device. Talking you through the Symbian 3 operating system, we've got our customizable home screen, as you may have seen um, on the uh, keynote speeches earlier, but I have three. So I'll be able to swipe through and fully customize all three of these pages. Now that single finger gesture works across the screen, apart from in one place which is here where my contacts are. So I can have 20 of my favorite contacts on my home screen. To edit it, I simply press and hold, and that brings up the editing. So I can just move things around the screen, I can press once and remove them, and I can add more widgets on there. So I have a catalog of widgets I've already got on my device. If I want to add some more, there's a shortcut to the OB store here, where it'll take me straight to the widget catalog. And it will only present me home screen widgets that are applicable to this particular device. It's not going to count now because the Wi-Fi is being chewed up in this conference. So I'll press done. Second thing I think is probably the biggest case selling point of Symbian 3 operating system is our visual multitasking. Okay. So I've been demonstrating this all day, yeah. and you'll notice I don't have a red button to, to minimize things down. So I just use this one button, this takes me to my menu and back again. But if I press and hold it, it will show me a visual representation of everything that I'm doing on the device at the moment. So I have my menu, I've got my music player, photos, and someone's on the internet as well. So I can just go straight back into my music player and then access all of my music tunes. One thing you'll notice here is the smooth running of the operating system here. This is due to the uh, graphics accelerator that's inside the device, and all of our Symbian 3 devices means the menu animations run at 60 frames per second, so it's a much more pleasant user experience. I don't have to exit out of this, I can just press my menu key and it takes me back to my home page. And all that's done is multitasking. And here it shows me exactly where I was last on the music player. What's new on the office front? New on the office front, it's got full mail for exchange support. So here I've got my business email. You'll have to appreciate the hand style on Boba Fett and not colleagues of mine. It's full mail for exchange support, so instead of having um, just a sort of a, a look into your inbox, it's actually got all of my folders, all of my subfolders here as well. So if I have subfolders with different clients, different colleagues, then I'd be able to file them away here. So instead of having to just look at my emails on my device and then going back to my computer to file them away, I can do them all on here. I can also accept or decline calendar invitations, and I can even manage my out-of-office reply. Okay, and what about the office reading and editing? The Nokia E7 will come with the full version of Quick Office, which means not only will I be able to read and view Microsoft documents, I'll be able to create them as well. So I can create new documents, either workbooks, presentations, which are fully compatible with Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. As and when updates come from Quick Office, the users of the E7, the purchase of the E7, will get the updates for free. So they'll get the lifetime subscription to a Quick Office on there. Great. Um, 